In this video, I will go step by step and show you how to get your Pebble smartwatch connected to your Android phone using the fan supported Rebel service. Quick summary. Pebble was not officially supported because they were sold to Fitbit, but the fan supported Rebel service keeps these watches working. Now on your phone, use your default browser and go to rebel.io slash apk. Click on the download and once it's done, hit open. If you haven't enabled installing from unknown sources, it will let you enable it now. Once installed, go ahead and start the app. It will ask you to approve some permissions. Next, an Android system dialog will warn you that this app was built for an older Android version. It's fine, just click OK. Next, you will get the Pebble account login. But since the official Pebble service is no longer available, we get a blank page. Simply skip the login and confirm. We will be logging in through the Rebel service. Now it's time to pair up your Pebble. The pebble on the phone side will detect any nearby pebble watches matching the model you picked out. On your watch, if it's been factory reset, it will show the welcome screen with the watch ID available. This pebble is E068. If your watch has already been paired in the past, you can find it in the Bluetooth settings by hitting the middle key, scroll to the settings, and then Bluetooth. Make sure the connection setting is enabled and showing the watch ID. Once the phone finds your watch, just click it to pair it. Click through the approval dialog boxes on the phone and watch side. Now that it's paired, finish up the dialogs on the phone side, selecting your language and approving the notifications access. Here, starting with Android 13, you cannot grant notification access through this screen as it's a restricted setting. If you have Android 12 or lower, you can just enable it. But on Android 13, you will need to go into the app screen through the settings dialog. You cannot go through the app shortcut from the home screen. You must go through the settings app route. The easiest way is to just pull down the notification panel twice and hit the gears cog to get into your settings, then apps. The Pebble app icon should be in the recently used apps right on top click into it, then click on the three dots on the top right corner to allow restricted settings. You will need to confirm your login credentials to complete this. Then you will get the approval dialog. Now go back to the Pebble app notification access screen. I like to just use the recent function and pick the window I was on before. After enabling the notifications access, it will go to the home screen again on the Pebble app. It will still show it as a blank screen because you have not yet logged into your Pebble account. This is where you need to activate your Rebel account and have it reroute the Pebble to Rebel. Go to your default browser and go to auth.rebel.io. You can log in through your Google account and it's seamless. On this screen, it shows that your Google account is linked to your Rebel services. Click on the Get Started Now link to get to the next screen. On the Here We Go screen, you can read through the info and scroll down to the bottom. There is a Switch to Rebel link that will feed the login credentials to the Rebel app. It automatically switches back to the Rebel app with dialogue about a new login. Skip the login twice again and go into the menu on the top right. Click on settings. Scroll down to the account box where it says no account and click it to log in. Now log in using Rebel credentials linked to your Google account. It now says you're all set. So click on it's Rebel time to complete the process. You may need to connect your Pebble watch again if it's no longer connected. Simply hit connect. To test the connection, you can go to the help section on the top right and test notifications. It will send simulated SMS, text, phone calls, and email notifications to your watch. You can now switch through any watch faces also. To get new watch faces, go to the watch face tab, hit the plus icon on the bottom and browse through the available watch faces. They will be linked to your account in the future if you plan to switch phones or watches. The menu tab let you organize the order of menu items when you press the center menu key on your watch. 
The notifications tab lets you choose which apps you want notifications from. If you don't see the app from the condensed list, hit view all apps and filter out the apps you don't want notifications from. One thing to note is that with this default setup, you will still get notified when someone calls you and you will see who's calling you. The actions you pick on your watch, however, will not affect the status on your phone. Here I hit the end call and it ends the notification on the watch. It stops vibrating and goes back to the watch face. But the phone does not get the command. You will need to end it on the phone directly. To work around this, watch my video installing Dialer for Rebel services.